Number 1 Mount Victoria Immediately east of the city center is Mount Victoria. Topping out at 196 meters high, this peak offers fantastic views over the cityscape, although it can be extremely windy on top. A narrow winding road, signposted lookout, runs up from Oriental Bay to the Bird Memorial below the viewing platform. Number 2 Museum of New Zealand Te Papa Tongarua New Zealand's National Museum is an immersive journey into the natural forces that formed the country, the culture of the Maori people who first settled here, and the social history of both Maori and Europeans who have shaped the nation since then. The Museum of New Zealand Te Papa Tongarua, more commonly called Te Papa by locals, has a wealth of exhibits to explore, from the earthquake house that simulates the experience of being in an earthquake, to the much more sedate Arts Te Papa collection, with 11 galleries of artworks focused on New Zealand and Pacific Island artists. Number 3 Wellington Museum Rated one of the top free things to do in Wellington, state-of-the-art multimedia displays help bring the city's history to life in the small but impressive Wellington Museum. Housed in a preserved historic building that was once one of the city's early department stores, the museum features informative exhibits and film presentations that trace Wellington's maritime history and the city's evolution. Number 4 The Beehive Wellington's most iconic building is the Beehive, site of New Zealand's Parliament. Designed by British architect Sir Basil Spence and built between 1964 and 1979, the building with its distinctive shape is the city's most love-it-or-hate-it piece of architecture. Next door is the more classical-looking building of Parliament House, built in 1907 in neoclassical Edwardian style and home to the chamber where parliamentary debates are held. Number 5. Wellington Botanic Garden Created in 1868, Wellington Botanic Garden is a lush 25-hectare oasis that sprawls for 25 hectares on the city hillside, full of blooming flower displays and native fauna. A series of walking tracks meander through the gardens, from conifer forest areas to ferneries and seasonal flower beds. The Lady Norwood Rose Gardens here are one of the Botanic Garden's finest attractions, with 110 rose beds boasting a flurry of different varieties. Number 6 Zealandia Eco Sanctuary Dedicated to exhibiting New Zealand's conservation efforts and its unique nature and wildlife, Zealandia Eco Sanctuary is a 225 hectare urban eco sanctuary only 2 kilometers from the city center. Here, many of the country's native birds, including endangered species such as the stitch bird, saddleback, and takahe, can be heard and seen as well as more than 100 kiwi, which can be spotted on guided night tours, and New Zealand's famed reptile, the tuatara. Number 7 Weta Cave Workshop Tour Fans of the classic Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies won't want to miss out on Wellington's connection to Peter Jackson's successful trilogies. Wellington is home to the director's famous Weta Workshop, where many of the props and special effects for these blockbuster movies were made. The best way to experience this movie attraction is aboard a Weta Cave Workshop Tour. These professionally-led tours provide a fascinating behind-the-scenes look at how these movies were made, along with other hits, including Avatar and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Number 8 City Gallery Wellington Housed in the historic building of the Old City Library, City Gallery Wellington opened in 1980 and is one of the leading contemporary art spaces in New Zealand. This bright, spacious gallery features a changing program of temporary exhibitions throughout the year, displaying artworks by both renowned and up-and-coming local, Pacific Island, and international artists. Devoted to modern visual arts, exhibitions range from painting to photography to sculpture, multimedia work, and art installations. Number 9 Princess Bay Nine kilometers south of central Wellington, in the Houghton Bay District, is the sandy cove of Princess Bay. This sheltered sweep of sand with plenty of rock pools is a favorite swimming and picnicking spot for locals during weekends in the summer months. On a clear day, the beach affords excellent views that can stretch across to the South Island. A short coastal track above the beach runs to a lookout point with even better views and is popular strolling territory in the late afternoon. Number 10 Wellington Zoo Wellington Zoo is the oldest zoo in New Zealand. Established in 1906, it's well known for its conservation efforts. If you have little ones in tow, 
This is an excellent place to see some of New Zealand's wildlife up close, especially shy animals such as the kiwi bird, the country's national emblem, and the tuatara reptile. There are also plenty of well-maintained enclosures for animals from across the world, including the Malayan sun bear, along with giraffes, monkeys, chimpanzees, gibbons, meerkats, and big cats. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.